Who is the line boss we see in the DLC? Or should I say who is under the line costume? When I first saw that boss, only one thing came into my mind. I saw that feat before. What if I tell you that under the line costume are Omen? Let me explain. My first evidence is the feat we see in the line introduction. There was clearly a reason for focusing on it, other than Maizaki's foot fetish, that is. In the base game, we have another cinematic that focused on a character's feet, Morgoth, the Omen King. We can see that both feats are quite similar, in fact. This may be a clue that the operators of the Lion boss are Omen, especially since the operators are two people. Omen have the tendency to appear in bears in game. You got Morgoth and Mog, the fell twins before the Divine Tower, who appears surrounded by total darkness. Shadow, if we should say. Also, the Shadowlands itself clearly is embracing the aspects of the Crucible. We can see many new incantations using the aspects as well as creatures. We can see this in this shot, a misbegotten cleaver. And here, the Crucible line appears as a statue, further proving its importance. This Hebu is using aspects of the Crucible incantation. Our Tarnished himself is using a familiar incantation, which is the Crucible Wing. This incantation was used by the Crucible Knights, and for a long time the players asked for it, meaning that acquiring it will probably be locked behind an important enemy, judging by its importance. A very important hidden clue is the Fire Giant 2.0. You can see the Heavy Sun Medallion on his chest. We can actually see this simple in base game on a chest piece worn by the Dung Eater. The item description reads as follow. Worn by the Dung Eater, the heavy sun-shaped medallion represents both the guidance he once saw and the ring to which it one day lead. So this medallion represents the omen since the vision of Dung Eater was turning everyone into an omen. What if I went even further and told you that there is an omen kingdom in the Shadowlands. The Omen, who were shunned, hated, and enslaved in the lands between, are divined and highly regarded in the lands of Shadow. We already saw the Crucible Lion statue. Symbolic figures like this usually represent kingdoms or factions. Bearing that with the medallion, which represents the superiority of Omen, we can come to the conclusion that Omen have some kind of a faction or a kingdom here. Kingdoms usually have heroes representing their heritage and strength. Omen wearing the hide of a crucible lion would be the perfect fit. What if I also tell you that the purpose of real life lion dances are very important for Omen? We can read here that the lion itself symbolizes power, strength, stability, and superiority. And again, lion dance is an important ritual in Chinese tradition believed to bring good luck and drive away evil spirits. Drive away evil spirits. This is very important. We already know that the omens are haunted by evil spirits in their nightmares. The omen smirk mask description states that this visage is carved in the image of the evil spirits that haunt the omen in their nightmares. In game, at an omen camp, we can see two omens sleeping one of them is clearly shown having nightmares because of those evil spirits. It would make the most sense for an omen kingdom to have their symbol be the lion, and their champions perform lion dances, which would protect the kingdom against the evil spirits. While I was digging for more information about the lion dancer's identity, I came by this. The omen shoulder plate in-game have this face carved on it. I may be hallucinating, but this looks like a lion to me. The Lion Guardian enemy is very close to the carving. The Lion Guardian also have horns on its head that have been cut off. Perhaps the carving on the plate represents an ancestor of those Guardian lions, which ties the omen even more to the lion statues and dancers. This theory would actually explain why Marika hate the omen so much. She saw what they were capable of, their strength, and perhaps their cruelty. The Fire Giant 2.0 War Machine, which have their symbol, is a terrifying machine. 
it's used to burn people alive inside of it. This may be a clue that the omens weren't so innocent after all. We already know that the Newmans came first to the lands of Shadow along with them was America. So did the omen wage war against the Newmans? Is that why America threw them entirely from her golden order? We will see. We can see the line dancers perform two abilities in the trailer. First, we will look at the lightning strike. Lightning is associated with dragon worship. Dragons should be considered divine in that land, since the aspects of the crucible are in fact draconic features. Therefore, using dragon incantations isn't out of place. What is bozzling me is that black breath we see. At first, I thought it was Godwin Deathblight, but we don't know the extent of Godwin influence in the Shadowlands. We didn't see many clues of his influence and death blight is usually not just black. This attack reminded me of the warm face breath attack, but we can see it's not just pitch black like the dancers, it's a combination of black and a brighter yellow, which is usually the color of death blight. We can see in game that the omens have a black breath attack of their own, which is interesting, but again it's not just a pitch black breath like the lion dancers so maybe its newer form is a little different we will see like and subscribe if you enjoyed and tell me in the comments what you think see you in the next video until then farewell fellow tarnished